Okay, good morning. Today we're going to talk about systems of equations and the solutions that come with them. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Remember, I always have at least multiple pencils, so I'm going to have a pencil and a highlighter, and uh, we're going to talk about solutions. So there are three kinds of solutions you will encounter when dealing with the systems of equations. There are no solution is one of them. There is one solution, which is a second, and infinitely many solutions, which is the third. Okay? Little uh, keynote right here, a little asterisk. In order to determine the number of solutions, you may need to convert from standard forms to slope-intercept form. So you may need to convert the 5x minus 2y equals 10 to, uh, what would this work out to be? Subtract 5x, subtract 5x, and you would divide by negative 2, and you would get uh, y is equal to 5 over 2x minus 5. So you would have to be able to take this equation and convert it into that. Okay, but we've already done that, so you should be there. So the first type, let's talk about it. No solution. And no solution means that the lines never intersect. What that means is that the lines are parallel. Okay, so the lines never intersect. The lines are parallel. And what that means is that the equations of the lines or equations of parallel lines have same slope and a different y-intercept. Okay, so there are three pieces of information right there. Lines never intersect. Lines are parallel. And the equations of parallel lines have the same slope and a different y-intercept. Okay, an example. I'm going to give it to you in two slope-intercept equations. If you have y equals 2x minus 3, and then you have y equals 2x minus 1 or plus 1 or anything other than that, what you're going to look is you're going to look, if you're determining how many solutions you're going to have, you're going to look there, and you're going to say, oh, these are the exact same slope, no solution. Why is that no solution? Because lines are parallel. Okay? The second one that we're going to talk about is one solution. And one solution means that the lines intersect at one point. I'm going to put PT for point. And what that means, I'm going to use a pen to help you guys see it a little bit better. Uh, what that means is that the equations... have different slopes, okay? Different, very important, different slopes. So again, we'll go back to our equations. We'll go y equals 2x minus 3. We'll use that same one. And then we just need another equation, y equals, with a different slope. So you could put any slope you want in here. I'll go 1 half x. The y-intercept doesn't matter. So it could be minus 3, and that would be fine because we're only worried about the slope. It could be plus 3, and that doesn't matter because we're only worried about the slope. And as soon as we highlight the slope, boom, boom, we can tell that they are different slopes. So therefore, one solution, and the reason why it's one solution, solution is because they have different slopes. Okay. The last one that we are going to uh, discuss is infinitely 
many solutions. And what that mean is that what that means is that every solution, I'm just going to go sole, every solution on one line is a solution. I'm going to go sole again, is a solution on the second line. And what that means with regards to the equations, because you're really just looking at equations, is that the same line, they are the same line. And what that means is that they have the same, and I'm going to run out of my box, slope, intercept, equation. Notice that I say they have the same slope, intercept equation, not the same equation. Okay? because you could have a lot of different standard form equations or point slope equations for one line. So let's look, let's go, let's go y equals seven x minus one. If you had another slope intercept equation, it would have to equal y equals seven x minus one. Same equation, same line. Every point on the top equation is a point on the bottom equation. Every solution on the top equation is a solution on the bottom equation but they're not usually going to give it to you that nice, neat, and pretty. What they would do, or what is going to happen, is you're going to get y equals 7x minus 1, and then they're going to give you something like uh, a standard form. And they're going to go negative 7x plus y equals negative 1. And then you're going to have to take your standard form equation right here and convert it like we did up here where my left finger is, convert it from standard form to slope intercept form. And you would do that by adding seven X to both sides. And then you would get Y equals seven X minus one. And this is actually probably a really nice and neat one. And the reason why this is infinitely many solutions is because they're the same line. Same line and slope intercept equation. Okay, so they have the same slope. Go back to my highlighter. Same slope and same y intercept. Both pieces are the exact same. Okay, what I want you to do right now, after you copied all that down, is now to go here and determine how many solutions. So let's look, I'll go determine how many solutions satisfy the following systems of equations. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the first one. The first one, we're gonna highlight, boom, our slopes. The same y-intercept, but that doesn't matter because the slopes are different. How many solutions? One solution, y, different slopes. You're going to do the same thing for number two, number three, number four. They're all in slope intercept. Number five, we have two standard form equations. So you're going to have to convert them both into slope intercept. And then number six, you have one standard form, one slope intercept. Convert them both to slope intercept to determine how many solutions you have. Okay, have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow in class.